Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. Today I want to draw your attention to the fact that prescribed management rule 15.5 has been amended. This is a provision that used to provide an owner shall be entitled to attend and speak at any meeting of the trustees but shall not in that capacity be entitled to vote. Now they've added in um, a qualification on that right which says that the person owner is entitled to attend on invitation. The effect of this is that an owner is not entitled to go to a trustee meeting unless they get an invitation. And from whom? Well, could it be from one trustee? Probably not, as the trustees make decisions by consensus in meetings. So probably it must be a majority of trustees who invite an owner or all the owners to attend one of their meetings. And that would require that they put the item on the agenda of a trustee meeting and they vote, or they take a round robin decision to that effect. Um, another question that arises is, can owners give trustees a section 39.1 direction, instructing them to, um, to always invite uh, the, the owners to their meetings? And the answer there is probably not, as this provision presupposes that the trustees must themselves exercise a discretion in this regard. So the effect of this change, which will take effect on the 30th of July 2015, later this month, is the unilateral removal of the right all sectional owners have had since October 1997, a period of some 18 years. And unless special general meetings are called, this means that owners only have the right to attend the annual general meeting. So they only have one assured opportunity to participate in scheme administration. Who would a provision like this benefit? Well, it's hard to say. It's hard to say why this provision would come at all um, at a time when we seem to be moving towards transparency and openness in government at all levels. Perhaps only trustees and managing agents who don't want owners interfering in their decisions. Um, and perhaps there are owners who are perfectly happy simply to let the trustees deal with absolutely everything without any oversight. Um, owners were never entitled to vote. They were entitled only to talk. Um, so they were really observers in the meetings, but now with effect from 30th of July 2015, that right will be taken away. I've asked Karen and Zalinda to consider whether the Minister's action in making this change to the prescribed management rule complies with Section 3 of Act 3 of 2000, which is the promotion of Administrative Justice Act. And that provision requires that any administrative action which materially and adversely affects the rights or legitimate expectations of any person must be procedurally fair. My initial feeling is that the making of that particular decision um, and taking away this particular right um, without any visible motivation or form of consultation doesn't seem procedurally fair, although it is true that the Sectional Title Regulations Board in the past has never published their decisions uh, for public comment before sending them to the Minister. And that raises the question, who suggested this change? I chatted to Greer Moore Barnes of Paddock's Club Meeting and Director of NAMA, who has confirmed that this wasn't NAMA's suggestion. It appears that the proposal was made by the Property Law Committee of the Cape Law Society. It would be really interesting to know why this particular subgroup of the legal profession thought that this change was necessary and whether the Sectional Title Regulations Board or the Minister at any stage considered giving any sort of notice to the more than 1.24 million sectional title owners who appear to be directly negatively affected. Perhaps asking what they thought of the proposal. Look, if you think this is a good idea that owners shouldn't be allowed unless they're invited to go to trustees' meetings, well, then that's fine. You don't need to do anything at all. But if you don't think it's a good idea, as initial comments on the Paddock's Club discussion forum have indicated quite a few owners don't, then it's time to do something. Who initiated this decision? Well, although um, it, it, it was put up by a member of the Sectional Title Regulations Board, it was the Chief Registrar's Department, and particularly Antoinette Reynolds and George Totsetsi, who run that whole process of convening and implementing the decisions of the, of, of, of the Sectional Title Regulations Board. So you could email or write or telephone them and ask them. Um, you could also go to the Chief Ombud. While the Sectional Title Schemes Management Act isn't in effect yet, the Chief Ombud has shown a considerable interest in anything that negatively affects owners' rights. 
I think if enough owners protest, perhaps the minister can be persuaded to withdraw the notice before it takes effect on the 30th of July 2015. But that would require a degree of cooperation um, amongst owners, which I don't think we've ever seen. I'm going to be away from office um, for a bit longer, but if you have any comments on these issues, please raise them in the discussion forum. Thank you.